So I am the chief of pancreas surgery at UCLA. I am a busy pancreatic surgeon. I operate on many patients with pancreas cancer. Unfortunately, I also operate on uh, many patients who uh, don't necessarily need an operation and have very early pre-cancerous uh, lesions of their pancreas. Um, so I am deeply committed to trying to be able to discriminate those patients and really determine who needs surgery and who can just be surveilled. Uh, to answer your question uh, directly, I also um, have a pancreas cancer biology laboratory interested in the molecular genetics of pancreatic cancer as well as the role of the microenvironment which supports the tumor cells or surrounds the tumor cells and how it supports their malignant biology. So I work with the Canary Foundation because, as I said, I am uh, genuinely interested in trying to distinguish patients who need to have pancreas surgery versus those who don't. We're particularly bad at that right now and are probably operating on too, too, too many patients or patients who don't necessarily need surgery or need it at least the time that we do it. Um, I also am a, a busy pancreatic cancer surgeon and see many a patients who present with advanced or metastatic disease whose disease has progressed too far and are not amenable to a potentially curative operation. Um, so we desperately need a early screening marker and an ability to diagnose these patients earlier uh, so they can potentially be cured of their disease. I am, uh, my research program partly is involved in the molecular biology of pancreatic cancer, so I have a genuine understanding of the genetic, epigenetic uh, changes that occur within pancreatic cancer. Uh, we have a uh, extremely large repository of human tissues because we have a really big, a really busy pancreas cancer program at UCLA. Uh, so uh, we have been uh, participating in the pancreas team in the Canary Foundation uh, with our, uh, our blood samples as well as we've just started a project with saliva as a potential uh, diagnostic fluid or uh, earlier screening fluid for patients with pancreatic cancer. We've previously shown that uh, messenger RNA uh, changes and the microbiome changes in saliva are highly discriminatory for pancreas cancer. And now we're looking at microRNAs, another molecular change in pancreatic cancer, to see if those can also help to distinguish patients with pancreas cancer versus those who have other pancreas cancer-like sy symptoms.